The rise of artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the way we live and work, especially in big cities like New York. But embracing this AI could lead to significant economic and social shifts. To talk more about how automation could change the work landscape is Mungi Ren, an assistant professor of computer science and data at New York University. Good morning. Good morning, Mary. So first off, how are companies using artificial intelligence right now? Well, companies have been widely using artificial intelligence these days. Uh, we've seen um, professional fields such as legal and financial domains. They've been using uh, our AIs to do their paperwork, doing research and anal analyzing data. And there's also daily assistance such as preparing paperwork and spreadsheets. Programmers are using AI to help them write, write their code. Previously, AI has impacted lower income workers, but as it's evolved, it's now extending into areas requiring specialization like finance and healthcare. Can you talk more about this shift? Absolutely. So historically, AI has mostly been imagined towards replacing lower income workers. And I agree that in the latest wave, AI seems to be more successful towards areas that require more specialization and desk work. And I think this is because AI has mostly been focused on understanding and generating text and image data, which is because AI has been trained on massive amounts of internet data, makes it so good with working these um, virtual forms of data. But in the real world, there contains much more variations and unfamiliar scenarios, and this is why AI hasn't caught up in replacing these uh, labor force in the real world. On the other hand, AI has grown highly sophisticated in dealing with book knowledge. And this is why we're seeing AIs acing a lot of the professional exams, including bar exams. Um, as AI continues to advance, how can cities like New York incorporate it into industry without losing jobs? Well, I think uh, um, in, we will have to focus on job transformation and creation. Um, I don't think this is an imminent threat on losing jobs because AI still needs a lot of human supervision. And as AI becomes smarter, it also means that the errors are more subtle. And sometimes you'll have to prompt the system again um, if you feel like some of the answers are not accurate. So we'll have to invest in education and research uh, so that people are well uh, educated to understand how to use AI better. And that can help us increase our productivity. And last but not least, we have to uh, keep supporting innovation and entrepreneurship uh, to help AI create uh, more jobs and economy. And what would you say are the pros and cons of adding automation into the existing business models? The pros are very clear. It will increase all of our productivity and reduce the cost with the time saved. And humans will have more time to create on a higher level. And the cons, I would argue, is that the lack of human supervision by having AIs completely working autonomously could lead to many safety risks in the system. And potentially, these errors can compound and accumulate and potentially leads to over-reliance that leads to a loss of a lot of fundamental skills of humans. Manu Ran, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Data Science at New York University, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.